Marshal. Ever heard of a J.W. Grant? Mm -hmm. He needs you. Urgent. Interesting facts about famous people. Woody Strode, actor, athlete, and author. Woodrow Wilson Woolwine Strode, 1914 to 1994. Today, we are paying homage to this iconic, strong, and culture-changing actor, athlete, and author. Multi-talented and multidisciplined, he broke the glass ceiling and brought something positive to everything he did. Quote, if you're a nice guy, you can walk into a room anywhere in the world. If you enjoy this video, hit the notification button to get my new videos. If you want to check out my many, many other videos, head over to my channel. The link is in the description. Please take a moment to like and subscribe to the channel as well. I appreciate it. Let's get into it. With strong African and Native American ancestry, Cree and Blackfoot on his father's side and Cherokee on his mother's. Some reviewers and historians claim he could have been a more well-known and cast minority actor if not for his size and physically strong appearance, more along the lines of Sidney Poitier, a contemporary Hollywood of the past and present. Still has few positive roles outside of the stereotype for ethnic males. The roles he was offered fell within those limited, though notable ranges. Some interesting notes. He was one of the first four blacks who integrated professional football in 1946. He posed for one of two paintings commissioned by Adolf Hitler for the 1936 Olympic Games in Berlin. Reportedly, his favourite film from his career was Sergeant Rutledge, 1960. A close friend of director John Ford from the early 1960s until Ford's death, with Ford having preferred Strode's company over most other actors, when the director became ill from cancer, Somewhat controversially, Ford usually waved off claims his films were racist by saying things like, but my best friend, Woody Strode, is black. According to John Capuccia's biography of Gorgeous George, Strode paid him a visit late in 1963 and was shocked and saddened to see the extent of his old friend's decline. On the highly macho set of The Professionals, 1966, Burt Lancaster, widely known to be a very physically strong man, frequently challenged Strode to contests of strength and was allegedly despondent to be repeatedly bested by him. Strode served in the United States Army Corps during World War II. Producer Walter Mirisch spotted him wrestling and cast him as an African warrior in 1951's The Lion Hunters, one of the Bomber, The Jungle Boy series. They wanted him to shave his head, reluctantly, until they offered him $500 a week. I said, all right, where are the pluckers? Then Strode realised, I was out in the world market with a bald head, trapped for life. Finally, it became a way of life. He had roles in 1951's Bride of the Gorilla and African Treasure, another bomber film. An episode of 1952's Dangerous Assignment, Caribbean, and Androcles and the Lion, playing the lion. The toughest job I ever had, he later said. Strode was in 1953's City Beneath the Sea, directed by Bud Botticher, and the Royal African Rifles. He also appeared in several episodes of the 1952-54 to 54 television series Rayma of the Jungle, portraying an African warrior. A gladiator in 1954's Demetrius and the Gladiators, and was in Jungle Man Eaters, a Jungle Gym film. He could be seen in The Gambler from Natchez, Jungle Gents, a Bowery Boys movie set in Africa, and The Silver Chalice, all in 1954. In a TV adaptation of Mandrake the Magician, 1954, a pilot for a series that was not picked up, and had small parts in Son of Sinbad, 1955, Soldiers of Fortune, 1955. He appeared once on Johnny Weissmuller's 1955-56 to syndicated television series Jungle Jim. Cecil B. DeMille cast him in The Ten Commandments, 1956, as a slave at $500 a week for five weeks. They were unable to find anyone to play the Ethiopian king, so Strode was given that role also. He also had a supporting role in Tarzan's Fight for Life, 1958, 
and a small part in The Buccaneer, 1958. In 1959, he portrayed the conflicted, some would say cowardly, Private Franklin in Porkchop Hill, which brought him critical acclaim. He called it the first dramatic thing that I had done. Strode was next cast in Spartacus, 1960, as the Ethiopian gladiator Drabba, in which he has to fight Spartacus, played by Kirk Douglas, to the death. Drabba wins the contest, but instead of killing Spartacus, he attacks the Roman military commander, who paid for the fight. He is killed, and the death sparks a gladiator rebellion. Strode had an excellent part in The Last Voyage, 1960, playing a heroic stoker, though he was only billed fifth. While making Porkchop Hill, he became a close friend of director John Ford. Ford gave Strode the title role in Sergeant Rutledge, 1960, as a member of the 9th Cavalry, who is greatly admired by the other black soldiers in the unit, and is falsely accused of rape and murder of a white woman. The big studios wanted an actor like Sidney Poitier or Harry Belafonte, recalled Strode, and this is not being fastidious, but Mr Ford defended me, and I don't know that this is going on. He said, well, they're not tough enough to do what I want Sergeant Rutledge to be. That was a classic, he later said. It had dignity. John Ford put classic words in my mouth. You never seen a Negro come off a mountain like John Wayne before. I had the greatest glory hallelujah ride across the Pecos River that any black man ever had on the screen. And I did it myself. I carried the whole black race across that river. Strode had difficulty maintaining the momentum of these roles. He was in The Sin of Rachel Cade, 1961, Ford used him again in Two Road Together, 1962, but it was only a small part as an Indian. He had a bigger role in The Man Who Shot Liberty Valance, 1962, for Ford, playing Pompey, John Wayne's hired hand. In the film, Strode's character recites the Declaration of Independence, but apologises for getting the phrase, all men are created equal, a poignant line for the 1962 audience. Pompey, Strode, physically carried and thereby saved a drunken suicidal John Wayne from his burning home. In 1963, he was cast opposite Jock Mahoney's Tarzan as both the dying leader of the unnamed Asian country and the leader's unsavoury brother, Khan. In Tarzan's three challenges, he had roles in the features Genghis Khan, 1965, and Seven Women, 1966. The latter, the last film he made for Ford, Strode was very close to the director. He treated me like a son, Strode said. I had a certain amount of crudeness that went back a hundred years, and that's what he liked. During Ford's declining years, Strode spent four months sleeping on the director's floor as his caregiver, and he was later present at Ford's death. Strode landed a major starring role as an expert archer and soldier of fortune in the 1966 western The Professionals. His name was the only one of the four professionals that was left off the movie poster. Nevertheless, the film was a major box office success that established him as a recognisable star. In 1967, he attempted to produce his own film, The Story of the Tenth Cavalry, but went unmade. He appeared in four films that have been selected for the National Film Registry by the Library of Congress as being culturally, historically or aesthetically significant. The Ten Commandments, 1956, Spartacus, 1960, The Man Who Shot Liberty Valance, 1962, and Once Upon a Time in the West, 1968. The character Woody from the Toy Story films is named after Strode, who had appeared in a number of classic Western films. He had a long-time affair with troubled actress Barbara Payton in the early 1950s, at a time when interracial relationships especially between a black man and a white woman, were not only unheard of in Hollywood, but were actually illegal in many parts of the US. They kept it a secret. Eventually word leaked out and that, combined with her mental problems and heavy drug and alcohol use, wrecked her career and her life. Inducted into the UCLA Athletic Hall of Fame in 1992. Inducted into the National Multicultural Western Heritage Museum and Hall of Fame in 2012 to 13.
hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think in the comments. I appreciate your likes and subscribers. Hit the notification button to get my new videos. Take a look at my channel and check out my Facebook page. The links are in the description. I am Wrangler. Bye for now. See you again soon. Interesting facts about famous people.